Wade's defensive front. Um, just what's the mentality with this offensive line just since all the shuffling has been happening? Uh, just continue to grow on some of the good things we did against the Texans, uh, especially in that run game. You know, we were making lanes, um, fitting good combos and things like that, and then obviously cleaning up uh, unforced errors on our end and, and just playing ultimately a cleaner game. Obviously, you want to win, but like, how much fun was it to get to play a whole game after you know as much time as you put in working and working and not really getting that opportunity? To uh, of course, you know it's fun to get out there and, and show what you can do a little bit. Um, like you said, though, would have loved to come away with a win, and uh, that didn't happen. But you know, you're always having fun when you're out there. Did you feel more comfortable as the game went on, or did you feel pretty settled right from the start? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, of course, settling in there, you feel a little bit more comfortable as the game goes on. Um, but, you know, there was never really any moments where I didn't know what to do or, or couldn't get the guys on the right page. Obviously, I mean, a couple, you know, cadence things, snap, whatever. But as far as, you know, IDing things and getting out there and getting calls out, Everything was fine. And the soreness level yesterday on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, scale of 1 to 10, I don't know, maybe a 5, 6. I mean, With a lot of the guys, like I mentioned, injured on the slide, including Ben Jones, who's been a leader, do you, in a way, I know it's weird, but like feel like you, you can step up a little bit, especially in a um, short week? For sure. Um, you know, this, this is my sixth year working yeah. in the NFL, so I, I've seen how things are ran around here, especially um, being Ben's backup for a while now, um, so you know I was expected to you know run some early morning meetings, stuff like that that he does, and kind of just stepped in there and he showed me how to do it great. So it's it's been pretty smooth stepping into that role. I and mean, doing the same thing over and over again, and, and the longer you are in your career, the more times you've done that same thing. So you have to be prepared and willing to learn. Uh, the longer you are in the league, uh, you know, across the board, uh, everybody always has something to learn. You, you talk about preparing every day like you're a starter. You went a long time and not gotten a lot of meaningful snaps. How, I mean, obviously you want to win, but how fun was it to get out there and play a game and, and do all that for a chance? Yeah, absolutely. It was a blessing. My family was here, my wife, my son uh, were here to watch me play, uh, you know. It was a it was a, a true blessing and you know kind of an, uh, prayers answered and uh, you know I was just super excited about my opportunity to go out there and play and you know uh, so yeah like I said I just feel truly blessed and uh, I'm ready for you know whatever opportunity I get. I mean you're certainly not a rookie, but were you nervous at all? Were no. You... no, I think I come in you know everybody I come in every day prepared like I'm you know gonna play and I've done that for six years and I think. If you're willing to do that and fight the good fight and go the you know the full time doing that, I think you give yourself a really good chance to be successful. But have you have you ever lost patience along the way and started to ask yourself, is this is this worth it? Or oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a tough. Like I said, it's a tough and unforgiving sport, and uh, I think that um, the more you stay and prepare like that, the better shot you got to capitalize on opportunity when it arises, regardless of the circumstances. People often say that there can be a huge jump from game one to game two of the season, considering the old line sort of game one for you guys all together this week. Do you think you can make a big jump Thursday night or by week 18? Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're preparing and ready to go out there and fight, and that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, we're just taking it one day at a time. Be, we're going to be coachable and uh, be ready to come out Thursday uh, fired up. Coach Rabel said the message this week is say less, do more. What does that mean to you guys? Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, there's really not much that needs to be said. It's just more action needs to be done, and uh, that's what we uh, intend to do. From the team. Last week was really the first game for this unit on the offensive line. You think you can make a big jump between now, Thursday night, or between now and week 18? <laughs> I don't know if we make any big jumps. I think if we can clean up just the mental stuff in the game. I think we make big jumps at this point in the season. I think we just clean up the things mentally that we can and be the other as a group. How important is that to get you guys clicking on all cylinders up front? Definitely it's most important for us. Like everything starts the O-line up front. So definitely with a short week, we'll definitely be on it and make sure we got those details in hand. What's the kind of message in here this week, a short week, and, and knowing that you, know, you want to break this five-game scale up? Definitely, that is the message, like I said, is cleaning up those small details. That's the biggest thing we can make within this short amount of time that we have right now, just focus in on those small details. How do you guys feel like after that, that 
first game kind of with these new parts together that you guys did and um, Corey Levin kind of saying I'm kind of stepping up as a leader too being behind better these years yeah I said guys handled it well like I said Roos got in there had a heck of a game um, Levin had a great job as well like obviously was, we all have a few plays here and there but for the most part guys handled it well and I think we did a pretty good job as a group but just need to continue and clean up those small things that we didn't do so well and whatever so yeah Asking some of the guys about the Dallas pass rush, what do you, what do you see when you see those guys? Definitely talented guys in front, as everybody doing in this league. I mean, we still got to go out there and do our jobs, no matter who it is. Um, so that's all we're expecting to play our keys and do what we have to do. Mike Parsons, the guy that you have to know where he is at all times. Definitely, you always got to keep an eye on him. He can be anywhere, so you got to count for him in every play. You mentioned there's a lot of talented pass rushers in this league, but is there something about him that sets him apart from what you've seen? Uh. Like I said, every week you're playing somebody really good, and he's definitely an elite one in his league. Obviously, he's the leading candidate for defensive MVP, so definitely someone to count for, for sure.